this is Randomness with 5 Cups of Sugar, and today I'll be doing a manga review for volumes 1 to 4 of Given. Later on, I'll be doing a review of Given, the movie, as well as Given Volume 5, since that was released relatively recently um, in English. So, without further ado, let's go on with this review. So, the synopsis of the story is basically that it is a BL, so it's a yaoi, so it's a romance between guys, and this one follows the story of a band named Given. So we start looking at the story before they actually form um, this four-person band named Given, before it's just three members and it's instrumental under the name The Seasons. I do like this um, BL because it has a different kind of spin to um, BL in that it's less about getting physical, more about the story. I mean, because like some of them do have good stories, but they also do get physical. This one's more about the actual story and it centers around that. And it also looks at mental health um, because of Mafuyu, which is this character right here. Um, he inherits his guitar, or is given his guitar by the mother of his late boyfriend who committed suicide. Um, so that's the beginning of the story and he's all sad. And hugging and carrying his guitar everywhere with him. And that's how him and Ueno meet. Uenoyama meet. Um, because he's at his favorite napping spot. And Uenoyama also found that napping spot too. So that's how they meet. Mufuyu freaks out because he didn't know that the broken guitar string on the guitar can be fixed. One thing leads to another, he fixes it for him, and he strums it even though it's out of tune for the first chord, and he strung Mifuyu's heartstrings. Aww. And that is the general premise for the beginning of the story, and eventually Mufuyu joins the band, and as you can see, it is very cute for art style, and very beautiful art style in general. Um, he even is represented by a Pomeranian. It's very cute. It even goes into things like stance. So we know that um, Mufuyu's is a Pomeranian. And Akihiko's is a squirrel. And then... Ugetsu's is a giant crow. Uenayama's is a really cute munchkin cat. <laughs> Haruki's is Masashi. I don't know who that is, but he kind of just looks like a balding dude. Is he a squirrel, a Pomeranian, a munchkin cat? It's cute. And they're friends, Fuyu's friends from middle school. They're both cats too. I feel like this is a running thing in the series because in like all the volumes you have at least some mention of it in the bonus parts. The bonus stories are a four coma format. They're really cute or funny or just really plain random. Uh, or bonus stories that are really deep like Mufuyu's love story with Yuki. Uh, this one was so sad and and it really moved me because they seemed to, to really have loved each other. And I get so conflicted because it's like, I like Mufuyu and Uanayama a lot, but like at the same time, Mufuyu and Yuki were great together too. And it's kind of really sad that Yuki is dead. And in the in-between pages, between the chapters, they also have like their social media kind of posts, which I do like and I think it's kind of interesting. And I like how all of the characters that are introduced have some sort of complex backstory to them. 
And the movie takes place between volumes three and five. As is the case with a lot of manga, uh, the in-between inserts have data about the characters, their interests, and things like hairstyles or features. The only criticism I have for this manga is that the girls kind of look like guys. It's kind of like with Goodbye My Rose Garden where the guys look kind of awkward, uh, but the reverse, the girls kind of look awkward. I know they're siblings and like even pointed out how they look so similar, but like here's Uanayama with his sister's hair and pretty dang similar. And you can also see that for the other girls in the story. Volume 1 is mainly about Mufuyu and Uanayama, but mainly about Mufuyu. Same with Volume 2. Volume 3 is more about Akihiko and Ugetsu. And Volume 4 is more about Haruki and Akihiko, but mostly about Haruki. All in all, for my overall review, I'd say 10 out of 10 for art style. It's beautiful artwork as well as cutesy. Um, and serious at times and really expresses the character's emotions. Um, in terms of plot and story, I think I'd give it a 10 out of 10. The characters are very well developed and we see them go through character growth as well as, um, I guess, regression then growth for some of them. My favorite part would be in volume 3. Favorite part ever in the anime as well as uh, the manga. Okay, ready for it? This part. <laughs> With Unayama. When Ufuyu is saying something to him. I'm not telling you, but like it's pretty obvious. He goes back to the age of the dinosaurs. <laughs> he visits outer space. Wow. He has a whole party inside of his brain with many hymns representing different parts of him. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. And it's freaking hilarious because, like, I don't know about you, but uh, when I watched season one of the anime, uh, I thought Monoyama was like this serious dude, like, obsessed with like refining his music and and guitar and finding his sound and like making it consistent and stuff um perhaps it's because he looks so much like kageyama from um haikyuu maybe i pegged him for the serious type but he's serious in a way but also like he he's like this too so like <laughs> i can't take him seriously it's it's hilarious um just for these moments, I feel like he's my favorite character in Given, even though they're all great and like they all have depth to them and I love like the characters and their stories, but like just for the really random moments that um, Uenayama gives, I, I feel like he's my favorite for that. Like, oh my god. Yeah, so anyways, overall 10 out of 10 for the manga, um, totally recommend it. Even if you're not so into the L, this is a very soft one and it's basically plot line. So if you don't like explicit stuff, then this is the BL for you. Go for it. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe for more content. Bye, take care.